what is opening this week brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Now on Tuesday we talked a little bit about uh, In the Heart of the Sea and now we got a couple more to talk about. I'm going to let you guys know too right up right now is that we're not going to have any mailbag questions today because we are running a little bit long but we are still going to take some of your <coughs> live Twitter questions. So if you're watching us live right now you can jump on Twitter and tweet to us at Collider Video and then Ashley will pick out a couple of your tweets at the end of the show. But right now let's get to what's opening this week. So Ashley what do we got? First up opening in limited release this week is The Big Short. When four outsiders saw what the big banks, media, and government refused to, the global collapse of the economy, they had an idea, The Big Short. Their bold investment leads them into the dark underbelly of modern banking where they must question everyone and everything. And expanding into a wider release this week is Legend. Suave, charming, and volatile Reggie Cray, Tom Hardy, and his unstable twin brother Ronnie start to leave their mark on the London underworld in the 1960s. Using violence to get what they want, the siblings orchestrate robberies and murders while running nightclubs and protection rackets. With police detective Leonard Nipper Reed hot on their heels, the brothers continue their rapid rise to power and achieve tabloid notoriety. Christian, which of these films should audience be, audiences be looking forward to? Well, if you're a Tom Hardy fan and you really enjoy Hardy, obviously you're going to want to see him play this role because you can reference back to Jean-Claude Van Damme in uh, Double Impact. Uh, <laughs> but no, I think that he's getting a lot of buzz off these performances. I just hear the movie's not great. I want to see the movie, obviously, because I am a Tom Hardy fan, and I'm very curious. And I'm and gangster movies. I love gangster movies, so I want to see what he does as the Cray Twins. Now, The Big Short, on the other hand, is fantastic. I really enjoyed this movie. It is you got to you got to pay. It's one of those movies you got to pay attention to every word that is said, otherwise you will be lost. But the performances from Steve Carell, Christian Bale, Ryan Gosling, there are so many amazing performances. But you got to give credit to Adam McKay when you yeah. hear that Adam McKay, the guy behind Funny or Die and comedies, you know, like Step Brothers and stuff. You're like, wait a minute, this guy's doing a movie about the economic crisis. What? Man, what a great job from him because he was fighting against people, not thinking he can do it, and he did it. And it's the same, based off the same uh, author, the guy who wrote Moneyball. Yep. And it is a movie that really surprised me. I was and the blind side. Yes. Yeah. And I was, look, I was, I was, when you hear this cast, and when we talked about the trailer, of course you want to see the movie. But I was surprised with how much I liked it. And remember, though, also, this movie is like a horror film in, in certain points when you know what the banks were capable of and when they tell you the things that happened with this crash i was familiar with with what was going on i just didn't know to the extent and it is terrifying you know i was so hyped to see legend for so long because i want to see these hard but you're right all the reports i mean i haven't seen it uh, legend yet uh but all the reports are that it's a mediocre film at, at best so that kind of put a temperament on that but i think it's still worth going to see just to see you know an actor like tom hardy pulling the double impact thing so that's pretty cool with um, the big short you have on paper the best ensemble cast of the year. Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Christian Bale, Brad Pitt. I mean, there you go. And the movie is fantastic. I mean, it lives up to its billing. Not not the best film of the year, I don't think, but it's going to be in the running, absolutely. So if you got to pick one this weekend, I'd say go for The Big Short. I don't know if I'm just lazy or too busy to see Legend. Like, it seems like that movie's been playing in limited release in L.A. for weeks, and I still just haven't made it to see a movie. I'm really looking forward to it, and I agree with you, boys. By all accounts, it's not a great movie. It's not going to win an Oscar like Double Impact did. So I'm going to have to say... <laughs> The big short is just short of perfection when you're talking about what they're trying to convey in a film, the performances, the direction, everything about the big short. Now, it did not make me want to run out and read Michael Lewis's book because it seems pretty dense. There's a lot of numbers going around. It's the perfect theater experience, and here's why. Because when you're sitting in a movie theater, you're so focused on the action going on on screen. This is not a movie you wait for cable because commercials are going to come on, or if, if, if it's on HBO or something, you might be distracted by something else going on in your apartment. See this in a theater when you have nothing else to do and just focus on how scary the housing crisis was. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.